All right, here you go, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> My, my family wasn't really like super musical. No one in my family really played instruments. It was when I was in middle school. My friend, um, Lajuan, he, he's deceased now, but he was, he was crazy. He had, um, he had perfect pitch. Anything anyone would, any song or anything anyone would play on the piano, he would just immediately get it and just translate to his guitar. I was really good friends with him and like his, his energy just inspired me to pick up the instrument and be like, damn. I want to, I don't know, that's what I love about music, it's like, be, be able to like communicate with other people non-verbally, it's like a whole other, I don't know, it's like a whole other language too. I was playing uh, what's again? Super Smash Bros. Brawl with my little brother. And there's this one level where this song comes along. It's called Bramble Blast, originally from like Donkey Kong Country 2. And I just remember hearing, hearing that song and just like stopping and thinking like, damn, that is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. The main riff was on guitar, so I was like, yeah, I have to play guitar. That That's what it is for me. And it... See, was something like this. It's been a while since I played it, though. It was like... <laughs> What made me start playing? Uh, man, super lame answer, but I was playing like Sonic Adventure when I was <laughs> maybe like seven or eight on like Sega Dreamcast. It wasn't even like the new one, like the DX director's cut. And like there was that band in there, Crush 40. And like it just starts out like the final song for that final battle starts out with like this ripping like solo. And I was like, I want to do that. And it's just like, it was so insanely good and I really loved it. And I, I didn't really listen to rock because I like grew up in the church really. So I was like, you know, kind of new to it at the time. And that was just like super insane to me. And I was like, oh man, this is so much better than like all the music I listened to. And I wanted to do it. So I like tried to get a guitar. I, let's see, I enrolled in extracurricular music school in Hungary when I was six or seven. So after regular school, I would go over to this music school every day, basically, and have either music theory classes or uh, drum lessons. And it wasn't necessarily on a drum kit. It was uh, any percussion. So we would play on xylophone, marimba, uh, congas, bongos, the triangle, cowbell, <laughs> anything you want. So those are a couple covers, some you know some stuff we've been working on, and now we're just gonna go into uh, our originals to close out our set. I think we got four originals coming up. Just gonna let Jose retune real quick and then it's on.
Shout out to Tommy Hollow from Boy Robinator tonight. Yeah! You know what? Let's give it up for all the bands again. Let's give it up for SM Live, Tommy Hollow, the Rose of the Musical, and uh, the Groans. Really exciting for the rest of the set. Shout out to Kelsey. I'm very, very, very bummed you couldn't be here. But uh, hope we're getting up recording. Thank you, Tommy. If you ever watch this video, Kelsey, we wish you were here. We miss you, but you're here in spirit. <laughs> this was called Dream Thieves. <laughs> Oh, God. 